I've created the front end for this new feature, and I've pushed it to source control. Now I need to implement generative AI into it. And I'm really glad that you can help me. By the way, are you going to use Google AI for this? Mm, so it says here that the Google AI Android SDK is only meant for prototyping. So I think I'll use Vertex AI and Firebase. I mean, we already have Firebase in our app, so it shouldn't be much of a lift. Good point. That, that reminds me. Do you know how to upload files to cloud storage for Firebase? It's been a while. I may remember some of it, but you know, I can also ask Gemini and Firebase whenever I need help. Oh, that's awesome. OK, let me know when it's ready for code review. Sure. Talk Cheers. to you later. I'm working on an app that allows business owners to manage their accommodations. They can upload photos of the place they're renting out and provide a description. But we found that many of them are having a hard time coming out with good, engaging descriptions. So Miguel, our product manager, suggested using AI to generate descriptions for them based on the images they've uploaded. This is the new screen that Grant designed for that feature. It lets users upload images and then generates a description in this text field so that it can be edited later. Here's my plan for today. I'll start by adding this Vertex AI and Firebase SDK to the app, and I'll do a quick run of the app to see if it worked. What's that? You'd like to know what Vertex AI and Firebase is? Well, it's a way to securely call the Gemini model from your mobile apps running on iOS, Android, web, or Flutter. Then I'll add Cloud Storage for Firebase to let users upload images. I haven't used this service in a while, so I might ask Gemini and Firebase for a little help. And finally, I'll quickly do a manual test of the app to make sure everything works and see if the API calls from my Android app are secure with AppCheck. So let's start with the first one. The first step would be to enable the pay-as-you-go plan on the Firebase project. But our travel agency has been using Firebase in this app for some time, so we've already done that. The next step is to add the Vertex AI and Firebase dependency to the app's configuration file here in build.gradle.kts. Like any other secure Android app in the market, this app already uses AppCheck with the Play Integrity Provider. This ensures that all calls to Firebase are attested and are made from our legitimate app, which can help prevent abuse. So now in the view model for this feature, I can start using the code from this SDK. I'll start by initializing the model. For this use case, I'll be using Gemini 1.5 Flash. It is reasonably cheaper than the Pro models, pretty efficient, and it can handle image input just as well. I'd like to get instant and quick responses. So I'll make a streaming call to generate content, and I'll hard code a prompt just for testing purposes. What makes a good description for an accommodation listing on an app? Generate content stream returns a flow. That's neat. I'll just map it to this string flow that is already created in the view model. In the UI layer, that flow is already bound to the description text field, so I don't need to worry about that. And that should be it. I'll quickly run the app and see if it works. And there we go. Gemini gave me a response showing how to write a good accommodation description. It worked. First task done. Let's jump into the next one. Now it's time to add cloud storage for Firebase so that users can upload accommodation pictures. And since I don't remember how to do that, I'll just go ahead and ask Gemini and Firebase. I can ask Gemini and Firebase through the sidebar in the Firebase console, which I can open by clicking on the sparkling icon. I'll go ahead and ask my question. How do I upload a file to cloud storage in Kotlin Android? And then add some extra information. Oh, yes, now I remember. Add the dependency, initialize storage, create a storage reference, and call put file to upload the file. Now let me add this to the app. OK, now that users are able to upload images, let's use that in the prompt they were sending to Gemini. In order to do that, I need to obtain the cloud storage URL for that file, like this, and then pass that URL to the prompt as file data. Now I'll update my prompt to be more specific to this image, and I'll ask for an engaging description. OK, this should be all done as far as code goes. Now let's see it all in action. I just launched the app on my phone, and I'll click on the Upload button. Let me select a photo of a sample accommodation. Wait for it to finish uploading and to be processed by Gemini, and there we go. Gemini has generated a description for it, which I can edit if I want to, or I can go ahead and save it to the database. Now, remember earlier when I mentioned AppCheck? 
I can go to the app check tab in the Firebase console and take a look at the requests that are coming through from my app to the Vertex AI and Firebase service. Once this feature rolls out to production and I notice in this graph that almost all of the recent requests are coming from verified clients, I can go ahead and enforce app check. Last task, done. As a quick recap of what I just did, I added Vertex AI and Firebase to the app so I could make secure calls to Gemini. I implemented cloud storage with the assistance of Gemini and Firebase to upload user images. And finally, I ran the app to make sure that we're able to generate accommodation descriptions based on an image and see the app check requests coming through. And that's all for today. I should now push this code for Grant to review. And while I wait for his code review, you can also use Vertex AI in your own app. Just check out the link in the description. Hmm, I wonder what the iOS developers are up to. Thank you.